separates every Jew from a Gentile, which means when every Jew stands naked and looks at him or himself naked, he will see the area that God has marked as an area that he can't abuse or misuse. Because God marked that area and said, this area must be dedicated to me. Oh, wow, that's deep. All of you have been cut, that is a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd drop that. It's so easy. That means when you, you, you can't see that the same way. Because that's a mark of your connection to God. Which means it cannot be issues. It cannot be abused. It cannot be used for the wrong purposes. Because this is where God staked out his visible sign of your importance and your dedication to the fact that you will make a difference. A positive difference in the world. That's why sexual crimes are so heinous. Because they are about they, they are a total falling away from our creative purpose. They are total falling away of what God expects from us. Because this is not the instrument to misuse. This is not the thing to misuse and to abuse its intended purpose. Male and female created them, created he them. They are to hook up in union, in union to do what? To say to God, this is who we are in you. Woo! Ain't nobody teach us that when we come up? Yeah. Ain't nobody tell us? And the reason is because Zakar, which we would call phallic man, P-H-A-L-L-I-C, phallic man, lives in an environment and a world that has always made that very important. Who I am as a man. You ever notice pictures in art, um, Greek and Roman art, everybody's built, got muscles. Where's the flabby folk? <laughs> How many of y'all know you have worked on a six pack and you still not be able to fill it? I tell people I have a six pack, but you might have to come find it. You know, it's, it's kind of down. It's part of this kind of, kind of under. You might have to strip away some layers and keep you find it. Or muscles that just bulge. Yeah, just Everybody started the day. Looking like turkey Because men have a tough time dealing with what defines my maleness. God says, this mark on you, this mark on you affirms the fact that you are who you are and you are who you are in me and glorify me in the process. Society makes us wrestle with, am I man enough? Am I man enough? Am I strong enough? You know, men worry about whether they're, sometimes their women are gonna stay with them. If somebody else can out pull them, you know, somebody come by with super big muscle, hey, how you doing? Why are you talking to him? <laughs> you know, you got an arm like a pretzel. Yeah, yeah. Why are you talking to him? Why are you saying something to him? You like him or something? <laughs> or oh, we go to the gym. You, 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 if those of you go to the gym, you know, this is the most funny thing. You go to the gym, you always tell the folk who want to be impressive. They walk around with these little shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got sweatpants on. <laughs> now, let me take a while to wear sweatpants. They want good hands. They look like pipe cleaners. They take off their pants. 
things look just like pipe dreams, but they're trying to be impressive. <laughs> All this upper body, he said, just give me one good time to check them. Watch them fall. But this game is about maleness. What defines maleness? Just think about how many men have lost their jobs over a woman. Lost their marriages over a woman. Lost friendships over a woman. And it's, all, it's never about the love. It's never about the sex. It's about proving. It's about somebody proving something to you that you are a man. And then in the aftermath of it, watching everything else fall down around you, which means you are not a man. You all miss that. Somebody allowing you to do something that makes you feel like you're a man. But in the process, everything around you falls apart, which makes you aware you are not a man. Not a man. Have any of you seen Tyler Perry's new movie, Acrimony? Oh, yes. Y'all didn't see it? Yes. Oh, y'all didn't see it? Y'all need to go see a crazy woman be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, from the diary of a mad black woman, see the diary of a crazy woman. This woman is certifiably crazy. I don't want to peep a whole car. How many of y'all don't plan to go see? Oh, let's see, Red Box. Okay, somebody said Red Box, okay. Somebody said Netflix. <laughs> no, somebody know here's the best life, bootleg. <laughs> but one of the things I, I learned from watching this movie, some people will never be great hooked to the people they're with. All right. All right. All right. They will never be great hooked to the people they're with. And it may take somebody else to help them become great. But at the same time, that someone else helps them be great, they never succeeded at being responsible. So that it is wise to hold on to your dream. How many of you have a dream? It's wise to hold on to your dream but never at the expense of being responsible. Keep your dreams alive, but understand you have to be responsible at the same time. You're not supporting me. You're not standing with me. Well, Negro, you ain't got a job. You need to get a job. You need to pay some bills. You need to support my dream. That's true. That's true. And you need to hold on to your dream. But your dream never gives you the right to disregard your responsibilities. You still got to put a roof over somebody's head. You still got to take care. You still got to make sure gas is not your pay. You still got to make sure there's food on these tables. And then somebody else come along and this is the great black man lying. Or oh, uh, touch the promise and ask him, have you heard it? <laughs> I promise you, I promise you, at least two people on the table gonna say yes. She understands me. Uh, <laughs> you talk to someone else. She understands me. I didn't mean to get into this, but she understands me. Are you crazy? You have redefined malehood as stupidity. You have lowered the bar on manhood. Men are supposed to be smart. Every brother here who's smart, raise your hand. Even if you don't think you're smart, raise your hand. You ain't supposed to fall for that. She understands. She understands what it takes to get what she wants. She understands just what it takes to get what she wants. You think you playing her. When you slip her that twenty dollars to pay part of her cell phone bill, I just give a couple dollars here. That that defines your manhood. I give her a couple dollars here. No, brother, you missing the point. You are totally missing the point. You are defined. You are so caught up on am I a man? A man is not defined by how much money he has. A man is not defined by what kind of job he works. A man is not defined by how big and bluff he is. You know how long it takes to get that way without pills? <laughs> I need some help in here. Amen. Some of y'all talk about, I want to get buffed. You know what it's going to take. 
You gotta find a new goal. <laughs> Listen, I'm 68 and I still want to get in the gym, but not like I used to. Right. You know, someone is, I think about the weights. <laughs> <laughs> and I envision the pounders. <laughs> Do we have a witness? <laughs> you ain't going to no gym work. I hear people talk about I was in gym five hours. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no way, old Zay. I'm going to be in no gym five hours, five days a week. You building stuff up, go out and get a tattoo, and your tattoo is your elbow. <laughs> Shoot, you get all them, them women that look so pretty on your chest, look like hags. <laughs> I got a, I got an eagle on my back, too. The wings are down. Pick me up off the floor. No, you're not defined by that. You're not defined by, you're not defined by how, many, how, how, how active your player's card is. Mine expired. And I did not try to renew it. Can I see the hands of guys who realize your card expired? <laughs> Probably even still out of your box, still pull somebody. Yeah, who? <laughs> Somebody's gonna lie to you. But again, it's not defined by any of that. And yet those are the very things that we're constantly in pursuit of. We're in pursuit of a woman who will validate our masculinity. Because the world has no definition of masculinity. And so when we grew up, all we knew is men don't cry. Men don't wimp out. The great line, man up when you're 12. You need to man up. Well, what that look like? I watched mama beat you. <laughs> <laughs> need a man up? Please, man. Be real around right here. You need to man up. Put your man up sometimes. <laughs> 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 this is a good question, boy. Oh, Jesus. Right. Somebody help me. Y'all know I'm tired. <laughs> but again, you know, we grew up with no solid definition of manhood. The Jew had the sense that I've been cut. And that, def that gives me my maleness. I have this that gives me my maleness. You'd be surprised to come the things that work on men's psyches about their maleness. I'm, I'm not built, my voice is too high, my voice is too deep, I'm too short, I'm too tall. You know, I'm heavy, I got, okay. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm too heavy, I'm too this, I'm too that. Maleness is defined by one thing, a protrusion. That's all. That's it. That's it. Touch the brother and say, you're a brother. You're a brother. <laughs> you're a brother. I hope so. <laughs> you're a brother, you're a brother. And the Bible talks about, use, once, once you are aware of that, you no longer have to wonder, are you measuring up to a woman? Or have a woman validate your maleness? You're not, the, 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 the kiss of death for a man is a woman to say, you're not mad enough. Yeah. You know, even the non-violent men go put their fists to a wall or walk out the house and go into deep depression because she has stung you at the deepest place. But see, you have to understand, a woman is not into sexuality the same way a man is. Yeah, right. Sexuality does not define the depth or the desire of the relationship for a woman. Security does. Mm -hmm. Help somebody. Right. Well, you, you, you can knock boots all night long. A woman say hi, oh, it's wonderful. And tomorrow night she's going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you think she grown a man for that too? No, baby. <laughs> she's going to bed. The lights are paid, lights are on. The mortgage is paid, and there's food in the refrigerator. Honey, love you to death. You sitting in front of her? She'll come back too. Any of y'all seen um, the Infinity Wars yet? 
Mm. It's the same movie, but <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going nowhere with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get them on a quick video. <laughs> one person.